I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own line following robot. The things we need. An Arduino Uno, a USB cable, two infrared sensors, as well as an ice cream stick, an L298 H bridge motor controller, jumper wires, a few male to male and a few male to female, a chassis, four wheels, a pair of dummy shafts, two DC motors, uh, the ones we're going to be using here, are of 300 RPM each, a 9 volt battery, a switch, two thick wires to connect the battery to the motor shield, a mini breadboard, a wire stripper, scissors, screwdrivers, double sided sticking tape. Now let's just connect the motors and dummy shafts onto the chassis and the wheels onto the shafts. I'm going to connect both the motors to the rear end of the chassis. Now I'm going to connect the dummy shafts. Now let's mount the wheels. Now, let us pass these wires through these holes so that we can connect it to the motor controller. Now we are going to be connecting the positive terminal of the right motor here and the negative terminal here. We are going to be connecting the positive terminal of the left motor here and the negative terminal here. This is for the high volt power supply that is we are going to be connecting the positive terminal of the battery here this is for the negative um, that is the ground of both the Arduino as well as the battery this here is the 5 volt power supply for the Arduino alone This is the ENA pin, this is the IN1 pin, IN2, IN3, IN4 and ENB pin. The ENA as well as the ENB are analog pins and they give analog output to the Arduino telling it what speed we want to operate the motors at. The IN1, IN2, IN3 as well as IN4 pins. Uh, are digital pins and they give Arduino information about in which direction we want to operate the motors in. That is whether it is in the clockwise direction or in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let us cut the wires from the motors to their appropriate sizes and connect them to the motor controller. Now I'm going to Fix the motor controller onto the chassis with the help of double sided sticking tape. Now let's fix the Arduino onto the chassis with the help of double sided sticking tape. Now let us connect the ENA pin to the fifth pin. the IN1 pin to the 6th pin the IN2 pin to the 7th pin the IN3 pin to the 8th pin IN4 pin to the 9th pin and lastly the ENB pin to the 10th pin on the Arduino and that's it we're done now let's stick the mini breadboard 
Now let's stick this onto the front of the chassis. Now let us stick the IR sensors. One thing that you have to be careful about is that the IR sensors need to be as close to the ground as possible so we get the exact values. Now I have connected the female part of the jumper wires to the IR sensors. Now from your right, the very first connection here is the ground connection and we are going to fix this here. Okay, for both the IR sensors. The second connection you have is the power connection, the VCC, and you're going to be connecting that to your left side of the breadboard. Okay. Now the third connection out of the data pins, which give an analogous output to the Arduino which it reads to tell us whether or not it senses the black line. Okay. So uh, for your right sensor, we're gonna connect it to A5. And for the left sensor, we are gonna be connecting the data pin to A0. Now we need a few male to male jumper wires. We are going to be connecting the 5 volt of the Arduino to the VCC and the ground pin of the Arduino here to the to the to the right side, yes. Okay. Now let's power up our robot. Now as I've done here, connect these wires to the negative and positive terminal of the battery and fix the switch in the center. Now I'm going to connect these wires to the mortar shield. So I have connected the positive wire here to the first one. I have connected the negative wire to the middle one, that is the yellow wire. To this I have also connected a jumper wire, male to male jumper wire. This is going to go to the Arduino. And here, the last one, I have connected another jumper wire, which will give the 5 voltage supply to the Arduino. Now let's stick the battery onto the chassis. Okay, and now we're gonna connect these wires. The middle one, the ground one, which I've connected from the center here, is going to go to the other ground pin of the Arduino. Okay. Okay, and um, this pin, which is um, the five voltage pin, the third pin, we're gonna connect it to win of the Arduino. And that's it, the connections are done. Now let's connect the Arduino to the computer with the help of the USB cable and upload the code. This is the code I have written for a line following robot. Let's upload it to the robot with the help of this cable. The code has been uploaded. Now let's test our robot. So before you test your robot, just make sure that you have done all the connections rightly and also that there are no loose ends.
I've written a code here and if you want to use my code, I've given a link to it in the description below. So don't be disheartened if your robot just doesn't follow the line the first time, well then you are like me. But then uh, with time you will find out the mistake, just be patient. And the most important thing when you build a robot is to never give up.